met my wife in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We worked together at different schools. We got married at 19, joined the military a month after my son was born, and we've been pretty much bouncing all over since then. My daughter's name is Rachel. At three and a half weeks old, we took her to the hospital for a fever and vomiting. They admitted her, she was in the hospital for four days. And at the same time, my son was sick. We came home, took her to the, the follow-up, and then a few days later, she was back in the hospital for throwing up. They released her the same day, and then we took her to a follow-up on that. So then the doctor came in and said she didn't want to, but she had to call Child Protective Services because they were required by law to call them. And then we actually got arrested. Those are classic shaken baby injuries. I don't know. I really sort of God, don't know. Do you know how she's doing having visited her? No. I want her treated. I want somebody there with her all the time so she's not alone. I want her treated. I don't want her to be alone. All right, all right, well, so, all right. Now, you're telling me Joshua wouldn't want to do this. So right. who does that leave? Leave me, but I would there never do go. that. I would never hurt her. Why would you hurt your baby? We need to focus on how she got those injuries, and it did not happen at the hospital. I don't know. Okay? See. Samantha, did you cause the injuries? No. Okay, well, if you did not cause them, then Joshua did it. Is it possible that he could have snapped for one minute when you were taking a nap, and he's trying to play his video game, and the baby's fussing, no. and, you know, he's having to stop his game to deal with this baby? No. There's been accusations right from the beginning saying, no, you had to have done this. These are all classic signs of the baby being shaken. Okay. okay. Someone shook that baby. Okay. And someone shook that baby within the last week. Okay. Okay. I need you to tell me how that could have happened. I have no idea. None whatsoever. No, I don't. Somebody did something to her. And it's either you or Samantha. I understand. Okay. You, you need to tell me, Josh. I'm telling you. Okay. And I don't believe you. Like I said, we only have two choices. You or Samantha. That's fine. You can point it towards me. My wife did not do this. It is pointing to you. Okay. You're telling me she didn't do it. I know my wife would not do this. But how do you know? You're not with her. We were only there probably about 12 hours, and then we were released. They took both children. Um, I'm trying so hard not to cry. I cried and I cried. I cried for months. And it just, I didn't know how I was going to live with all my kids because my kids were my everything. Rachel was six weeks old when she was taken. And Robbie was seven. 